poor cross are live to the Tech Mahindra press conference giving out the details of their quarterly numbers. Uh, as you know, we are passing through very uncertain times. Uh, Eurozone continues to be a huge challenge uh, globally and it is not quite clear what the way out there is. One thing is certain that few economies are in huge distress and nationalism of individual countries is overtaking prudent economic management. How Greece crisis will be resolved is not known, but it is certain that it is causing huge stress on the banking institutions as well as the economy of Europe because the future of Eurozone is becoming increasingly uncertain. Closer home, the situation is not much better. Uh, the fiscal deficit has grown hugely. Uh, growth has slowed down, the interest rates have gone up, and the rupee is sinking. Uh, it is in this situation that we must look at the IT industry. If I was to be very selfish, I would say that the realignment of rupee is good for IT industry and is perhaps a silver lining. But that may only be true of IT industry and other export industries, but nonetheless the distress in the country is quite, economic distress in the country is quite huge at this time. Uh, now coming from, drawing out myself from the global economy, let me have a look at the telecom industry as such. Uh, we are finding that because of competition, because of uncertainty, and because of general distress all around, the, the optional spend of the telecoms has come down dramatically. And this is changing the nature of business for companies like ours. Because of the distress, most of the uh, telcos in Europe, in US, and in Asia are trying to reduce their, uh, reduce their operational expenditure. Now, whereas on one hand, because of the spend coming down, we are losing, we have business under pressure, the growth is under pressure. On the other hand, the desire of the tele, uh, te telcos to reduce operational ex uh, expenditure is providing a huge opportunity for companies like ours. And we have, over the last two to three years, moved quite successfully and nimbly, if I may say so, from being a traditional IT company to becoming also working in the operational area. Consequently, we have uh, moved, we are now running operations of large number of telcos in Asia as also in Australia. This opportunity which was never really used by companies like ours has become, I think, a cause of fair amount of growth for us and we have now moved even into Europe. Uh, so as I look at it, we are, as we speak, we are looking at six to seven major opportunities in operational areas which could amount to, I mean, which are range from about $25 million to $150 million at the TCV. So I think that is a positive. Now, having given you a bit about what's happening in the macroeconomic world and in Itelco, let's talk a bit about our company. Uh, for the year ended 31st March 12, our revenues were at 5,490 crores and a bit of 919 crores 
and a PAT of 1,095 crores. PAT for the full year includes 557 crores as our share of profits from Satya, uh, which also shows that our decision to uh, acquire Satyam was a wise one and it is now giving us rich dividends. And the reason why the rationale of our acquisition is now fully justified by the performance we have been able to eke out of Satyam Enterprises. On a full year basis, our non-BT uh, business showed robust growth of 20%. Uh, coming to BT, revenues grew by 2% sequentially. In BT, reap tendering process has slowed down. However, we continue to remain cautious in the long term. So far, we have managed to retain and enhance our estate in BT. But there's a possibility that there may be some trade-off between the price and the volumes going forward. Growth traction from emerging markets continued with a 40% increase. America grew by 13% in FY12, while Europe saw a decline of about 4%, and the reasons have already been indicated to you. Uh, There was a contraction of revenue, marginal contraction of revenue in the fourth quarter over th the third quarter sequentially. That was largely an account of uh, our involvement with Atisalat uh, EDB in India and it was a result of their seizing their operations on account of a Supreme Court order. So that we see as a force majeure. Uh, but if we were to exclude that, there was a perceptible growth. We added about 2,400 employees in FY12, taking the total headcount to about 40,000. Our attrition levels have come down and during the year, and we are at 19% for the quarter four. Uh, we look forward to sustained growth momentum in non-BT business. Our investment in our capabilities has positioned us to capitalize on these market opportunities. I am particularly happy about our successful entrance into the operating area of the telcos, and I see that as an uh, area where we'll continue to grow. Uh, this is as an opening statement. I presume I've given adequate, I've portrayed the contours of the company as well as I could, but I would be happy to answer any questions and my colleagues here, which you may have. All right, that's of course the Tech Mahindra management. Vineet Nair spelling out uh, the details of uh, the quarter four uh, results uh, that have come in. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at indietvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.